In Economy Watch 10, like many of us, you're probably looking for more ways to make a little extra money. News 10's Gina Glaris visits a local scrapyard and tells us how folks in the Wabash Valley have turned their trash into fast cash. Daryl Watson brings his aluminum cans to Sugar Creek Scrap about once a month. It's something he's done for years. Helps get some gas in my car and buy some groceries and stuff. You don't get rich with it or nothing like that, but it's just a hobby. Many folks like Watson bring in their scraps for extra money. Hectic, busy. We love it though. People come like 10, 15, 20, 30 people an hour. The downward economy has been a contributing factor to an increase in scrapping. We're busy all the time, but it seems to be when people are out of jobs and stuff, they're just scrambling to get some money. But you might be surprised at what they're bringing in. Everything from silverware and teapots to a kitchen sink, bathtub, and even the body of a tractor. Many items aren't worth very much, but you never know. Well, they brought in 10,000 pounds, so he got, you know, like... $1,100. Recently, though, they've seen folks bring in items they may not actually own, such as shopping carts and beer kegs. Morton says a federal law makes buying those items illegal. People have tried to bring in shopping carts, but people don't own shopping carts. They usually belong to a business, so we don't purchase them. But as most hopeful folks continue bringing in their truckloads of scraps, yards like these say you just never know what you can make to take back with you. In West Terre Haute, Gina Galero, News 10. Uh, copper scraps are worth the most, then stainless steel and aluminum. They also accept brass and tin. For more information about Sugar Creek Scrapyard and to find out what your items are worth, you can go to our website, WTHITV.com.